boy Mr. G S B back in the house. Then I got my boy. Cali, always want to go first. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's going on, man. Yo, we back in here with mental wealth today on um. <laughs> 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 hey, we always on our bullshit, but even though we're on our bullshit, we take some notes. Serious. Serious notes. Yeah, and take some notes on this. Take some notes. Um, one of the huge things that we want to talk about today, as far as mental wealth, is that what the system is doing to people as far as families, as far as ripping families apart, leaving children in the home with just the mothers, or vice versa, because there's situations where the children are being left with the father. That's what happened a lot more these days. Yeah, of course. Um, but a, a, peop, a lot of people don't understand that the system is a part of this, because at the end of the day, and I'll give you a prime example, right? I helped one of my cousins just the other day fill out for food stamps. Okay. okay. And while I was helping her fill that out, right, um, she, you know, because of income, like you might as well go ahead and do the Medicaid portion too. And as I'm reading through it and you know breaking stuff down, my PTSD start kicking in because right. I start noticing that all of this stuff is favored for a female, which is totally fine. Which but it's favored for a female. The only time is any type of help for a man in that situation if the man has custody of the kid, okay. and if he does, once he no longer has custody, and the kid get older, then you know you lose that. Um, so with that all being said, I feel like that is causing a lot of damage on the children within the household because if the system is pushing the separation within the house by offering things to the females by saying, cater hey, to them way more. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but the catering is practically telling them, we'll cater to you if you leave him. Right. That, and that's exactly what it is because if you, when I'm going through, I'm seeing that it's like, yo, you're gonna, you're offering the mother of the child to pay for college if she leaves you. How many times have you heard, oh, I'm gonna I'm I'm leave his ass because I'm on food stamps anyway. I well, don't need him. That, it, it started off in the 1960s. Okay. And uh, so this all happened where the welfare reform when they said, hey, woman, listen, we'll take care of you and the child. All right. But you gotta get the man out the house. Once you get the man out the house, we'll take care, we'll supply, we'll take 60% of his money. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll give you food stamp assistance mm -hmm. and we'll give you somewhere to live. That leaves us, a lot of men out there being stepfathers, going house to house, trying to find somewhere to live or working. But you gotta understand, every time you try to work, you get it. You get oh, you got so much feedback. You, 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 every time you Here's try to work, work, every time you try to work, you uh, you get somebody taking half your check, plus ten percent, uh, and then they're going to say, "Hey, no, no men here." They used to check the house to make sure men didn't have shoes in there. Let's take a quick, let's take a commercial break. Okay. Oh, yeah, so much from that. We didn't have any feedback in second row. Commercial break. Am I too close to it? Oh, oh, yeah, everybody just moves. Just move. Hold on, let me tell them. Oh, yeah, because you heard it, kind of. One person move at a time. Okay. Damn, yeah. you got the Troy dog. Oh, that's on, that's on this. That's on that? No. What? Hey, why don't we all just put our phones in the other room and just let, let's see if that stops? That way, that, that way, box, right? yeah, that, that way we know we know whether it's phones or not. Because yeah. if it still happens, then we'll know. I mean, we gotta just put it like it's in the in in separate room. room. Yeah, just all put right. it all in another room. No, no, way. no, we're good. We just move that for right now because it stopped, right? We're not gonna stop five minutes. Okay. okay. All right. All right, so, good. All right we back. Commercial from the back on. <laughs> hey, Mike got the shit. So you was saying? I wiped and I washed my hands. Thank you. Obsession, man. What's up with that, dude? He's like, he's like, who wants to be clean? This is not Cali. This is an ongoing joke. Yeah. That is and terrible. And that is part of mental wealth, bro. <laughs> mental Yo, wealth. We love Cali. You gotta clean it up. Don't forget yeah. to wipe. And oh. don't forget to wash. There you go. And, but take, and dry but, your hands. So the so basically back in the sixties they wanted they they this is when the child support kind of not so much started but getting the man out the house. Okay. We get him out the house. We give you the woman the house and have your children everybody take care. Of. We give you money for food or whatnot and it's giving him child support. If he doesn't pay jail house. He's done. You know. And so uh, that's really how it's been going. For nah, it's. That's heavy, dog. That bitch loud as shit. Yeah, yeah. Chris, yeah. Chris, Chris. That's your phone. It is your phone. Yeah. Time you can take it out of the text. Right? It's yeah, it's your phone. That's not bad, dog. Nah, I know, but it's just unfortunate. It's picking yeah, it up. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. everybody's already put their side yeah. in. As soon as soon as you went like this, yeah, text. Yep. Yeah, they got your text. They got your text message. 
Oh. All right. Pick it Stop, up. Hold on, hold on. Give it a couple seconds. Give it a second. One second. Let me go I get deal with this real quick. All right. Stop, stop recording, stop recording, stop recording, stop recording, stop recording. Oh, we are back, we are back. Um, so back to what Damien was talking about, right? Was um the fact that in the 60s they practically was we providing stuff to move the family, you know, move the male out of the house and provide more to the female, which at the end of the day what we were saying is practically affecting the children in the household because now you have an and you know this is my opinion at this point but you have these children that's being raised by single mothers right and then when you have a man that's uh you know raised by a single mother and don't have the father figure in a house to rate help raise this child especially when it comes to boys right what tends to happen is now you got this boy that becomes an adult in the future and now he has an expectation because he sees his mom and like yo my mom had to do this and my mom's had to do that my mom had to do this and then what ends up happening is become he becomes a Mr. Saver. You know what I'm saying? Because now you've seen your mom struggle. So guess what? Now you want to find a female that you can help or save instead of looking for a female that got their crap together. And one thing that I learned, right, mm -hmm. is that any, it doesn't matter if it's a male or a female. Are you only learned one thing? No, it's, I learned a lot. I'm just, but I'm just getting out to the base. Sounds <laughs> like, damn, one thing the whole bad, time, right? <laughs> the whole seventy years, one thing. No, I learned a lot of things, but a key thing. How about yeah? A key thing that okay. I learned. That's better. A key thing go. that I learned, right, is that it, it doesn't matter if it's a male or female, vice versa. So that way, I can't sit here and say that you know I'm just targeting, quote, targeting male. exactly. If you get into a relationship and the other person says to you, I won't do you like the last person, run! How fast, Steve? Fast, bro. Some lightning bolt. Some Cause, probably like a 4-2, four, 4-1. Four, and don't look cause, back. Cause yeah. It's always that girl that says, I won't do you like that, and I'm probably the coolest thing ever, man. Yes, bro. You hear that? Ounce. If the dude tells you, oh, baby, I would never take your money and take your car, just dropping you off at work and leaving you like that, run! Baby. I would never take your money or your car. People show you before, man. Out there like, you gotta watch man. actions and words, man. I won't do you like Jody. You don't want yeah. cognitive dissonance saying one thing and doing a whole nother. I won't Facts. do you like Jody, baby. Facts. <laughs> He's like, Facts. Mama! Mama! I'm just like Jody. And Jody is, is that man? He's woman liquor. So. And, you, and, and look at Jody's behavior, right? Right. And what happened with Jody's behavior? You saw everything that happened in Baby Boy, everything. raised by a single mom. And, and they almost got out Tupac that. for being that, supposed to be the actor in that. And, but you know, oh, and, he was for real. Mm -hmm. But oh, when okay. when, uh, when he finally had a man in his life, it took him some while. They had their struggles, uh -huh. but Smack he finally him. after he after he had to put him in that mood and show him, hey Jody, you just a baby boy. Mm -hmm. I'm a grown man. Facts. And he showed him, man, and they had to respect. It takes some stuff. That's what them. That's what happens when that uh, flip, uh, plant of fifty icy ones come on. And he talking about how he gonna do them young boys on the basketball thing. I hope everybody caught that. Nah, yo, my yo. Mental wealth, health, Mental, legs. Okay, I am doing a lot of working out in the gym because it does help me out mentally, right? And, and you did sexual harassment because I told you I didn't want to see a six pack on video, oh. and you did it. <laughs> yo, this is, did I tell you that? Man, listen, man. <laughs> so quick, <laughs> I'm not even gonna look, look, look. I, I plead the fifth, yo. As far as I know, right? What do y'all? Okay, Dave, you tell me this, right? Do you was you raised in this? Was you raised by your mother was and your raised. father? I, I was raised. I was raised. I my got my third degree. I was raised. And was uh, it in your house or was it just your mother or was it your mother and father? No, I had my mother mm -hmm. for a time. And then I had a stepfather, who was okay. a great guy. But we do not call each other stepfather or stepchildren. And so, shout out to That's my pops. That's my pops. So we we don't. We had a great relationship mm -hmm. where being a step anything wasn't allowed. Cool. That, that conversation. I always put a negative connotation on yeah, anything. For real. So that conversation wasn't allowed to be in the house. And he established that as a man. He, a heard, me man, on, he man. heard me on the phone. It's a real man. He is. He heard me on the phone. And they've been together 30 years plus. And so he heard me on the phone in seventh grade, talking to one of my friends, and my friend said, who's that in the background? I said, my stepdad. He waited until I got off the phone real cool about it. He called me in the room. You know, when you're in seventh grade, thinking, every time this person called me, he wants some stupid, right? So I'm like, what do we want now? Jesus Christ, right? Um, and, and what he wanted, he just told me, he said, listen, he said, uh, you can call me. Mr. Jones. He said, you can call me Mr. Seymour. You can call me Marty. You can call me M. Effer. You can call me an asshole. 
But he said, please don't call me Step Pops. Step Pops. Mm -hmm. Because we don't step on each other. Mm -hmm. But I see that mic stepping all over us, so. That yeah, mic is stepping all over us. We got to do that real quick. Y'all two switch. Okay. Y'all two switch. What does this mean? Now, now, I think it's a racial now, thing. Right now, 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 now I'm monk. I want to see. Now I'm monk. Now I want to see. You're black. <laughs> yeah, because look, I'm me and Mike live in the same area. I'm Cali from Cali. <laughs> I'm still Cali. <laughs> look, look, it, it is a part of mental well. We get, if we get Mike feedback, bro, that yo, that it messes up your mental and you start tripping and start tweaking and all that good stuff. And that's not what we're trying to do. We're not trying to. Tweak. The devil not trying to, to step on us. Bro, God gonna let us come up. God gonna let us come up. Now, so mm -hmm. with the mental health, you, so you you got you have you had two parents in the household. Two 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 parents and my and my uh, dad was married as well a mm -hmm. couple of times, mm -hmm. but all his wives player mm -hmm. player player, mm -hmm. but all his wives got along with me. Okay. And the one, Damn. yeah, they did. And uh, oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> it, it had daughters, yeah, and it had nieces. You know what I'm saying? I was ravishing Rick, and so. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, man. I mean, Still but again, I understand because there, there's two things. When you grow up with uh, a stepfather, right? Mm -hmm. Even though he wasn't, he can do everything for you. My mother and him had children. He, I feel like he treated me better than he treated his own children. I love him. Right? I really do. But there's still a missing link sometimes because again, just because I grew up with that. A lot of other people didn't have that. I still grew up with them. Just because I had it in my household, mm -hmm. I was probably the one, but everybody else really didn't. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And so I had to see everybody else come up, be too emotional. You right. get what I'm saying? Now he was, no my, my, my dad was a, a shoot him up, bang, bang kind of guy. Mm -hmm. My stepfather was a businessman. So it happened two ways, you know, for, for the one party that wants to go fight and beat up people, mm -hmm. excuse me, you get your, your father in the house where he's more analytical, talking, give you aspects, he still was a, a person, he's from Cincinnati, so he was still a person that could fight. However, he looked at things from a... He didn't let that overpower him. Yeah, one type of over. and stuff. so sure. having that, my grandfather, I had a lot of men in my family, and just in Los Angeles, California, you have a tribe. It might be gangs. But there's people there that to talk to. And a lot of times women, but when we were growing up, women allowed men to talk to their kids. Mm. Nowadays, right now, in this age, if I, I do substitute teaching sometimes, if you go talk to a child and try to direct them in the right way, you got more mothers that are able to say, don't say nothing to my kid. You want to switch right now real quick, Mike? Because we still got feedback. Let's see what you switch. Two black guys together. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is why I love this show, bro. This is why I love this show. There is nothing on We got musical chair time, right? You know what I'm saying? I mean, do, do me and Steve look like brothers now? That's that's uh that's the new thing because we're black. We're dark skins, and they say we look alike. <laughs> I can't say that's anti. You leave it like that. <laughs> anti ninja. I mean, they say that me and Steve look. That's, 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 that's why I'm gonna say my piece. Was close. I'm gonna say my piece real quick before I dip. I love y'all. All I want to say is that. Well, before you dip, no, no, nice, no, 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 no. Nice we, we we get Damien's situation. Damien had both of his parents on both of his. He had his not. He didn't have, but he had a father figure in the house. Mike has GPS, but it's his thing right now. He's ready to go. So no, real quick. Yeah, right? No, okay. What's well, quick, quick, quick question, right? Did you have both parents in the house? Of course. Okay, so you so didn't really at the end. Of, do you feel like that affected you in any way because both of your parents was there? No, I'll say this. Um, my parents were the type of parents to stay together before the children. It's not always the best thing. I'll say that um, it kind of gave us a little bit of <clears throat> a negative feeling just because when you try to stay together when it's not working, it has a big effect on the children. That's you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's a good aspect I can say from that point of view in, in my life. Um, not to say that my parents did anything too horrible, but it, it honestly did have a negative effect on me. But I've always seen or been the type of person to more grab the positive than leech on to the negative. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I want to be the one that kind of like goes away from the things that I, that I didn't like that they, that they showed me and my sister. But I'm not a perfect person that by any means. So, you know, just being around somebody and having them raise you, you kind of like those things just rub off on you naturally. <clears throat> so it's, it's our job as humans to make sure that we do everything in our power to go against that if we don't agree with so it. So if you get married so, now and have children, would you stay for the kids, or are you more? No, nah, I wouldn't. No. Yeah, I would not. The one thing I will say, it's, it's a, it's a more, it's a, it's a. It, there's got to be balance in everything you do in life. That's my opinion of that. But I will say, when you choose to marry somebody, 
as much as cliche as it sounds, make sure you choose the right person. Right. Because I don't want to be put in that predicament where I have to do that or not do that. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I see marriage as a bond anyway, mm -hmm. and I have a very strong belief in like, let's make this work. But I also have a strong belief in like, if I see it doing effect to all the people around us, I don't want it. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah, uh, two, two I also, three. yeah, them? yeah, well, I had a, both, both my parents were there, very similar situation as yours, uh, they stuck together. You don't know me, man. You no, know, you know, I just heard your, I just heard your story. You just heard story. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you told us your story. Now all of a sudden it's Jerry Springer? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Anyhow, yeah. so, like, you know, I, I had both parents there, but it was dysfunctional because every time they found Artie, we saw that. And that wasn't healthy. I mean, everything could have been, I mean, I can't say it could have been because it never happened, you know, but uh, you know what? Maybe it, could, it would have been more healthy if we just not seen all the negative things that happened because- It would have definitely helped because, a lot. Because all we saw was fight. All we saw was get, so me and my siblings, all we knew how to do was fight. So yeah. we, we grew up fighting against each other, yelling and fighting. That's all we saw our parents do. So it wasn't healthy. And then guess what? After we all grew up, they divorced. But my, so I was like, well, oh, you know. They stayed together like, for the kids. Happened to me. Yeah. But now relationship wise with women, do you feel like if you had a child, the same question, would you stay for the children? Or once you see like a sign of a girl being crazy, knowing that what you had to grow up with, is that something where I'm gonna leave? I believe that you gotta find the right woman that, that's gonna be able to stick around, you gotta be compatible, you know? And that, 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 that's- a woman, I mean, we always do that, Steve. I mean, are we the only ones that are gonna be on this well, dating show? Well, question, I mean- Yeah, we're gonna be on a dating show. I mean, hey, hey, Chris too, before hey, I answer that question, because I wanna, I'm gonna- I'm he, he, he got a great question. Okay. Go. Well, are you guys, you guys, are you guys married and divorced or? Well, we'll come back to PSA. <laughs> I just want, I just want, I want, I want Chris, no. Chris, Chris to step out real quick. Same divorced. question here. I was going to go in and I'm going to No, 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 step, step, no, 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 no real no, quick. I'm going to do it. Okay. Chris going to sit right here. Okay. I love y'all boys. Love you, brother. All right, man. Very good episode, man. Hey, wait, just FYI. Next week, when he comes back, yo, we got some special treats for y'all. Oh my God, we don't want to hear you while you're driving off. All right. Hey, um, wash your hands. And in the bathroom. We don't want, oh, we, dude, did you go to the bathroom? Did you go to the bathroom with Mike earlier? I did, there? baby. I did. Hey, no, I no. wash my hands. Hey, we, that means you might have feedback. I mean, him going to the bathroom because no. he had his mic on. No, no, I, I, I. Are you I, sure you turned it off? No, I didn't. <laughs> I, 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 I'll know when I'm doing the editing. Um, <laughs> I was singing while I did. You're going to have a naked gun episode. Yeah. Remember a naked gun? So, <laughs> <laughs> naked shot. <laughs> All right, Chris, 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 Chris. Oh, Gally, are we? We're rubbing up on Gally really bad. both people in your household? Huh? Did you have both parents in the household? No. Okay, do you feel that affected you? <laughs> no, my, I had a great Man, keep it a bed, Chris. Chris. Keep it a bed. You had a great stepmom. So, yeah. I mean, you know, so your dad basically was the one that kept you and went there. So, you know what I'm saying? You had, you had a different thing from guys being a single mother. He had more or less a single father that got a stepmother. Mm -hmm. Did, okay, because I don't want to be disrespectful. I said I didn't have a stepmom. Did you feel like your, your, you know what I'm saying? Locking your your second mother was your stepmother, or did she did she treat you like that as a stepmother? No, she just treated me like a regular child. Okay. So Even okay. when she had uh, five kids, and then they saw me growing up, and I kind of raised them because they saw me the way I was raised, and so it went to them. Okay. And they always thank me in front of my kids. Oh, it was looked up to you, Chris and Dad, because stepmom. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, kind of like what you were saying, I, I've seen it a lot. Mm -hmm to where we have so many single women. It's a lot of pressure being a single woman. And then also too, right? The single woman of the past is a lot different than the single woman of the present because the single women's from the 60s and um, coming forward, right? Until about, you know, to the 80s, that was older. They had a different point of view of the situation. So you had a